We have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane t -Marts, we'll look after you. And welcome to PlayStation 4 NPL Victoria Women's live from Keelor Park. It's the reigning champions and premiers, Calder United, about to take on South Melbourne. Lay sent the ball to Rovers. Now Alonso sliding through Barilla with a toe poke, and it's saved by Zafina. Through ball. And now Lay is one on one against Zaffina. Zaffina goes to ground. Cindy Lay out. It hits the frame, and Cindy Lay has missed an open net. Chiel hits it high. Eliadis hooks onto a shot, and it needed a good save. Camilleri knocking it down. Eliadis. Plays the ball over to Medwin, swung back to Eliadis. Defence converges and the referee says a penalty. Referee Ali Manjin right on the scene. Not much protesting going on from the Calder defenders. And Tiff Eliadis just moments after bringing a good save out of Chanel Camilleri. It's Tiff Eliadis to take the penalty. And puts it over. Two extraordinary misses. Tiff Eliadis went for power and it was not close. Koja. Now Sidney Lay. Barilla turning right. Martineau is on the scene. Deflected only as far as Frascalzo. Hooks the ball back, but dealt with by Verzi. Now McFessel with a drive. And that was a pretty blatant hand ball. In any case, the ball has gone in. And it's the opening goal for Rachel Alonso. Talk about a poacher's instinct. Everyone stopped after the handball by Martineau, except for Rachel Alonso, sweeping home a right-footed finish. And Calder United do take the lead after all. It took a bit of an interesting goal to get there. Meyer wins the ball back. Now Papadopoulos caught in possession. Good challenge by Greiser. Deflected down the cross, though. Still a battle for possession for South on the right. Greiser keeps it moving. Eliadis sliding through. Airs the flags up. The ball's in the back of the net, but the flag is up, and it won't count. And Westfield FFA Cup ticking over there as well. Barilla chasing after a ball. Ramsey out of her line to get her first touch. Loses her footing. Lay with a shot from distance, but there are defenders back to cover. And then Julia Nicolacci at the top of midfield diamond. Front two. Molina Ayres and Tiff Eliadis. Long ball. Greiser is on side. Caitlin Greiser bearing down on goal. Right side of the box. Shooting. Good save by Camilleri. Ayres with the follow-up and a tap-in for South Melbourne. Molina Ayres gets the equaliser early in the second half. Good run by Greiser to catch out the call to defence. Camilleri made a good initial save, but it tumbled into the path of Molina Ayres. And in the six-yard box, Molina Ayres is always going to be odds on to score. Meyer comes across to help out. Meyer's right there on the scene, blocks the clearance, keeps it in. And now trying to wrestle the foul. Back to goal, quick one-two with Nicolacci. Now Michelle Verzi loads up across. Ayres meets it, tries to flick it on, shouts for handball. And Rachel Binning clears it away amid the howls for a penalty. And Calder on the counter-attack. Molly May has to come out and hold. Rachel Alonso right there. But Ramsey's done well. Rolls the ball out. Argaropoulos. Block tackle against Rovers. Rovers keeps her feet. Argaropoulos to ground. Now lay. Alonso. Cuts onto her left. Alonso. Parry. Barilla with the follow-up. And Barilla scores. Calder United back into the lead. And Enza Barilla makes it 2-1. They applied the pressure there, and even though Ramsey made a good save from Alonso's shot, Barilla following it in, the tight angle no concern, able to bury the ball in the back of the net. Calder on the ball, Meyer. High pass, bouncing, Alonso takes it, looking up at the south defence. 
Alonso, deflected shot, and it goes out for a corner. Call to stay on the attack. Played back to McFessel. Now, Verzi gets it away. Eliadis. Missed clearance from Kojak. Eliadis. Into the area. Squaring it. Kreiser with the tap in. And Calder United caught cold on the counter. Caitlin Greiser finds the back of the net. Eliadis with the assist. And South Melbourne score after defending a corner. What a counter attack. It's 2 2. And Calder United's lead did not last long. Corner. Looking for a call to head, Binning nodded it into a body, and the body was a South Melbourne one. Alonso. Back to Rovers. Now in midfield. Square ball. Finds Keisha Meyer. Now Binning. Binning from the right side. And it's out for a goal kick. Meyer. Lay. Trying to hold off the South Melbourne defence. Shifts the ball to Barilla. Now back out to Gadelge. Danny Gadelge, left footed cross. Lay. Ball falls at the post and it's out. It just kept rolling. Here's can't keep possession over on the right. Meyer. Nicolacci. Eliadis swinging a ball into the box, looking for Greiser. Gadelge knocked over. Play continues. Scroggy. Puts it high and out for a goal kick. <laughs> Ramsey keeps the ball out somehow from the corner. McFessel sends it high and wide to the right. Koja. McFessel as far as Nateros. Ball ricocheting in midfield, and now Jarvis trying the through ball. McFessel intercepts. Agaropoulos beats Rovers to the ball. Now Brittany Thomas crossing in for Ayres! And Melina Ayres puts South Melbourne in front! A fantastic header! And Brittany Thomas with a perfect cross. South Melbourne three, Calder United two. And how about that from Melina Rez? <laughs> Throw in. Thomas. Through the right side. Thomas stops on the ball. Looking for a teammate to cut back to. And then the surprise shot. Brittany Thomas makes it 4 2 to South Melbourne. Caught out Camilleri and able to steer in South Melbourne's fourth. And you would think, surely, they will get something from here. Two goal buffer, less than 10 minutes to go. And their time over the corner. They take it short. Eliadis. Agaropoulos there guarding. Eliadis cuts it back to Agaropoulos. Agaropoulos swings a high ball in. Camilleri sets herself. Catches it right on the goal line. Eliadis, Martino, high ball through the right, Tiff Eliadis has made a good run, Eliadis from the tight angle, and it flashes just across the face, so close to picking out the top left corner, Ramsey strikes it, South Melbourne with a statement win, South Melbourne beat the Premiers and Champions of PlayStation 4 NPL Victoria Women's 4-2 at their home ground. How about this for a result? And boy, doesn't this set up the season. Caitlin, welcome back to the score sheet. How did, how did it feel out there today? Uh, it was really good. It was an intense game. Um, Calder brought it again, and we knew they would because they were the champions last year. But we, we pushed through the second half, and we ended up scoring the goals and winning. <laughs> you made the step up from state one. How have you found it personally? Is, has it been quicker, or have you been able to adjust? Uh, we've been able to adjust to it, but we've always played fast. So I guess it's... It's just adjusting to the league and the standard, um, but being able to play the way we do combinations and everything, we did really well today. So, yeah. Britt, first goal this year. How did it, uh, how did it feel coming on? I think you had a big part to play in that last 15 minutes. Uh, 
um, it always feels good coming on. I just love to come on. I love to play. I was pumped to play. I felt good. And I think the girls are um, really good supporting as well. So that's always important for any goal to happen, really. So, yeah. It's, uh, it was a big win today. Uh, call of the reigning champions. How do you feel this is going to impact the rest of the year? I think it's great that we won today. Calder is a solid team and they always have been in this league. So I think it's good that the girls know that we can win against the solid side. So that only gives them confidence going to the next games and we're just super pumped to play the next, next game, really, and win.